This is a companion piece of a previous video, part two, I guess, of my public re records request that I wasn't entitled to, but got. And I asked for all nonprofit, not for profit, NGO, or commercial corporate entities that have donated to the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department in the previous CY. And there was one donation. The community loves them so much that one corporate entity was willing to donate. $2,300 from the Loyal Order of the Moose. Now, coincidentally, I was in Audit Them's chat, who encourages you to audit them, and there was a person in there claiming to be a member of the Fraternal Order, sorry, the Loyal Order of the Moose. And he was not happy with the things that I was saying about the Moose men that I learned on Wikipedia, of all places. <laughs> uh, for instance, until the 70s, and they offici officially denied membership to anyone who was not Caucasian, and in addition to that, denied any membership to anyone who was Caucasian, but had a non-Caucasian spouse. Yeah, totally not racist at all. Racist at, racist at all. Moreover, uh, interestingly, the Supreme Court upheld their racist beliefs and said they don't have to include members that aren't Caucasian. It's their right. It's a private, it's a private entity. It's their right. Never mind that it has roots in theology. And, and uh, let's look at this ritual here. Let the children come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven? Really? And while the men are, are saying, let them come unto me, the little kids are kneeling. Yeah, totally not evil or weird or CP-ish at all. Nope. Not at all. Uh, he also said that they don't take an oath, which I'll now read parts of. In the presence of the supreme being and those gathered here, I pledge. Well, what is an oath? A solemn promise, often invoking divine witness. Have we seen that? Is this an oath or a pledge? I will bring my concerns to the leadership of this order, as provided by our laws, before appealing to any civil authority. So if you know your CP brother is doing anything wrong, it's, you're not allowed to report them. You have to go to the leadership of the lodge. You are charged with two essential obligations. The first is to protect those within our order. Protect those within our order. If you're, a, if you're police, you go to the order. You protect the other members of the order, even if you've sworn an oath to the Constitution, because this oath is until death. The order of the moose oath is until death. You stop becoming a cop, you don't need to uphold your, your oath anymore. You stop becoming a cop, you're still a moose man. You still have the kids kneeling when you want them to come before you. This includes your fellow members, your families, and your fraternity itself. So, of course this guy had to lie about what the moose was, right? It's his duty to lie to me because he's protecting the order. And the second, secondly, there's the obligation to strengthen our membership. So we need to protect and strengthen the brothers and their families. Well, has this been happening in Ironton and Lawrence County? Uh, we need a membership list of this Order of the Moose. How about you guys? I just wanted to show another thing about the rituals. They actually had a ritual where they, they held a burning hot emblem of the Order, and then they blindfold these two gentlemen. To trick them into thinking they're being burned, they replaced the burning emblem with a chilled emblem. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but hot, extreme hot and extreme cold to our nerves are the same sensation. If you notice, stick your hand into a hot water, hot, hot water, it's the same as if your skin is exposed on a cold, cold day. So, you know, that would be a shock. Maybe you could uh, have a heart attack or something, or, but likely you're not going to die from that. But how these guys died was as they did that, they, well, they're naked, I forgot to mention that part. As they're naked, blindfolded, and believing themselves to be burning, these wonderful gentlemen, high moral class people, decide to electrocute these young men to death. So, you know, they're probably using Edison's direct current. This is, uh, you know, the 1913s. Uh, if they're using AC, they probably would have lived, just saying. But the saddest thing about this is this moose man that I was talking to, allegedly moose man, creates content with police interactions. He's, he's a member of the freedom movement. Secret societies infiltrate. We know this. They infiltrate and subvert. I'm not going to say his name. 
I hope that's not his, his intent and purpose. It was very obvious in the conversation that this person has no concept of higher or, higher order thinking or higher consciousness. He was very reactionary. Uh, like he hears this information that is well known, admitted to, and he still needs to one deny it because he can't admit that he's involved in such heinous acts. Uh, can't admit to himself or to the outside world. He doesn't just deny it, it threatens his ego so severely that he feels the need to lash out and insult me. And he was like, oh yeah, do you even have a job? Blah, 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 blah. I'm insecure. I need to project my insecurities. So sad. So sad. I left him with the message of self-actualization. Told him to look into Maslow, Piaget, Erickson, and Kohlberg to, to see if he could pinpoint when his emotional development stopped. It's terrible. It's terrible to lie to yourself and to need to project those lies onto other people. Especially if, if you want freedom, like you say. But he took, he took the oath. He took the oath to the moose. He's a moose man, and you can't really expect anything more from, from him. Imagine what he had to go through to get to that point. Just like all the bootlickers, just like all the, all the moose men. All the Catholic priests, the CPs, all of them. What did they have to go through to get to where they are to be able to justify what they do and what they say? Bad things happen, that's what.